Hello, this is TJ Farrell, and in this tutorial, I'm going to describe how to set up IOTA Lite Wallet. There are two types of wallets for IOTA. We have the Lite Wallet and the Full Node Wallet. The Lite Wallet is just a simple get to go wallet, while the Full Node requires some technicalities and developer options. IOTA is an open source distributed ledger focused on providing secure communications and payments between machines on the Internet of Things. That is basically what IOTA is. IOTA um, connects one machine to the other, one device to the other. It connects a computer to a telephone. It connects um, a laptop to to a pen drive. It connects, you know, things, machines, devices together and how they communicate. The Internet of Things is a network of physical devices, vehicles, home appliances, and other items embedded with electronics, software, sensors, actuators, and network connectivity, which enables these objects to connect and exchange data. Now that we know what IOTA is and what it does, Let's move on to how to set up the IOTA wallet, I mean the light wallet. To begin, let's navigate to IOTA GitHub directory, which will be provided in the description below. I have my IOTA GitHub directory here. On, on the directory, you need to download IOTA wallet setup 2.5. Point six or any anyone above this version you need to download the Windows setup which is an executive setup this is the Mac setup so let's download the Windows setup by clicking on it okay Okay. Also, one thing you also need is to generate a seed for the IOTA wallet. What is a seed? A seed is a password or a private key that enables you access to an account. In IOTA, you need an 81 character passcode or seed. And this can be generated through several means. With me here is a simple and easy but setup that enables you to generate the 81 character password using HTML. So we are going to download that file to it is called Cedar. IOTA requires an 81 character password which can be generated with a seed file. The seed file is just an HTML which generates random 81 character password. And that is actually what IOTA requires. To get this seed file, I'll provide a link to the description. All you have to do is navigate to the link. Then you click on Open Raw. Then you save this file to your desktop by clicking Ctrl plus S. Then you save it as Cedar. Yes. I've successfully saved my seed. And you can see this is the code for the seed. This code talks about the type of test. That's, uh, and this talks about the background color of the page, the body color, how the test should look like. This talks about the function, the function that is the main thing generating the code. This is the algorithm. It is a mathematical equation, and this is the end. Um, this talks about the design. That what you have to click generate, you know, to generate the random um, H1 character seed file. So you save this file as HTML on your desktop, and then you are good to go. Now that IOTA wallet has been downloaded, let's navigate to the directory where it can be found and open it. 
So I'll open my IOTA file from my directory. Okay. Okay, this is my IOTA wallet. I'll have to double click it to install it. It is being installed. After installing, open the IOTA wallet. My IOTA wallet has been successfully installed and it requires me to enter a seed to continue. Now I'll have to generate the seed that I've been talking about. To generate the seed, let's navigate to the, where our seed can be found. In my case, it can be found on the desktop. On the desktop seed. Okay, see that. So you double click it to open the cedar window, then you generate your random 81 tried IOTA seed. You have to copy this seed. You save it in a secure place on your desktop, offline, any place. It will be advisable for you to actually print this out. Losing this key is tantamount to losing your account and anybody having access to this key has access to your account and all the funds within it. So I recommend that you save this very well and never lose it. Once the seed has been generated, we move to the IOTA wallet and paste the seed there. Then we click login. Wherever you go, you need the seed file to log into your account without the seed without the seed password it's impossible so you send it wherever you are going that you need to access your iota wallet okay uh wallet has been successfully created and you can see i have a balance of zero and i can send and receive and there is a re there is a history to see your wallet address, you can click on receive to get it. IOTA is built on a system or on a ledger called Tangle. Tangle is different from the blockchain. Tangle is very effective by providing zero transaction fees. Thus, one, person's, one person has to confirm the transaction of another person before his transaction can go through. So if for every transaction, a person is doing he is confirming two other transactions so basically tango is very efficient and wonderful thank you very much for watching this tutorial i've successfully shown you how to install iota lite wallet and create a seed and then use it to open the wallet and create your first address congratulations once again you now know how to create iota lite wallet and in my next episode, I am going to show you the mechanism of transfer involved in IOTA and how to transfer IOTA from one wallet into the other. Bye-bye.